Hi, my name is William Wu, and I'm making a brief tutorial of how we use Asana at QED. So, what is Asana and why do you need it? Well, Asana is a project management system. There are many different project management systems out there, and Asana is kind of a new kid on the block that is more lightweight and easier to use than other systems such as Jira. Uh, it's very easy to create tasks, assign them, delete them, without having to create entire so-called stories like in Jira. Um, so if you've never used a system like this, you might have assigned tasks to Workforce by simply sending emails to people. Can, Alice, can you please do this by this date? Bob, can you please do this by this date? Uh, this quickly results in a lot of clutter in your email inbox, and it becomes very difficult to manage multiple projects. So Asana provides you with a way of encapsulating uh, all the tasks that you need to do for a certain project and also include all of the metadata, such as the due date, and who it's assigned to, and what the priority is, and the current status of the task. So let's just do this by example. Here, suppose I need to make a generic web application, and I might start by filling up this checklist of things that I want to do. So I might design a mock-up of the web app. Uh, I might do some marketing survey to determine if uh, this web app will be popular. Um, we can also do a literature, let's say prior art review, to see if it's been done already, so we shouldn't even bother. Uh, then, you know, I might, if I'm using, say, the Django web framework, I might say, create um, basic Django web framework and models, FUI. And there might be little things like version control, so create git a repository. And we might have some kind of styling. So after I've created the basic web app, um, we might want to style the front end. Okay, so I have all these tasks here, and now I need to uh, assign them to each per to different people. So if I click on this arrow here, so by clicking on this unassigned button, I can then assign it to a certain person. So here I've assigned it to myself, and I'm going to set a due date for it to the 8th. I can set the priority to be very high, or some other tag as I choose. Um, I can attach any files that might be relevant to this and has built-in support for Dropbox, Google Drive, and Box. Uh, we can favorite the task and um, those are the main main features that you would add here. So I can also add more people like so and we can discuss in this forum thread the parameters or any kind of issues that we might be having with this task. So for instance I might write we will be using OmniGraffle to build the mockup. And when you do this, the any followers here will receive an email uh, containing the contents of your most recent post to this thread. So uh, we can continue, and I can assign, say, this task to someone else, and then I will set a due date. Let's say it's earlier in the seventh high priority. Uh, yeah, and you can also provide more description about this task here. So you could say, please execute a survey of 10,000 people randomly sampled across the United States. Okay, so uh, that's the nature of assigning tasks and dates, but uh, this is not good enough because you also want to know what is the status of this task. Uh, is Charm here actually working on this task right now? Is it close to being done? Is it not even started? And so forth. So to do that, we use sections to simulate uh, the Kanban style that you might find in other applications like Trello. So we typically use five different tags. First one is done, um, in review, in progress, uh, to do, and proposed. Okay? so. Tasks will propagate their way up um, in, in this fashion. So with Trello, you drag cards from left to right, and these are all different columns. But now we simply move the tasks up the sections. So right now, these tasks are all proposed, and then someone who is the administrator on the project might say, okay, I, I think this is a good idea. We should do this. So it's not just proposed. It's something that will be that's to do. All right. So if I want people on this project to know that I'm currently working on this task, I can drag it to the in-progress section. So now people know that I'm working on it. An alternative to dragging the tasks is to click on this change section 
area. So what does in review mean? Uh, depending on how much checking you want to do in your project, you might assign another person to review the work that you've done. And this is even more common uh, when we're doing coding because we might have another person, another developer, reviewing the lines that were submitted into a system like Jared. And this assignment could then be sent to another person. So here I've assigned the review of the mock-up to Jiahua. And uh, the date on this might change to say Wednesday. Okay, And then if she approves uh, the work, then she uh, can change this to done and finally check it off. Like so. And now the project is the task is finished. Okay. If you want to see a, a listing of all the completed tasks, we can go here, click on completed tasks, all completed tasks, and we'll see the uh, grayed out completed task here. But normally we just display the incomplete tasks. So that summarizes the basic way in which we use Asana. There are more things you can do, such as um, connecting to Asana via, via an API such that whenever you commit code that clears a certain task, you could automatically check off that item in Asana or even include a link to that particular Asana task inside the commit message for your code. But um, for most people, the, the information that I've described in this video is enough. Um, one more thing I'll say. So these are quite useful. You can click on this button to see a calendar of tasks related to this project. Um, so here we see marketing surveys due this date and uh, reviewing the design of the mockups due on this date. And you can also click on attachments. So right now there are no attachments, but if we had assigned um, or attached some mockups or whatever, any kinds of files, and also Google Drive files, uh, to any task in this project, you could review all of them here. So you have a one-stop shop for all the file attachments that, that are related to this project. Some other small things you can do. You can set a description for the whole application. An application. And uh, you can also notify people with a status update. Currently uh, in preliminary stages, building a mockup. And you can indicate who will be notified when you update the status. Here you see a uh, burn down graph of the tasks remaining and the tasks completed. And lastly, I'll say that one very convenient aspect of Asana is uh, automated emails for all kinds of things. So if you assign someone a task, they'll get an email about it. And if they miss their deadlines, they're going to get an email about it. So that saves you a lot of work um, in just basic communications when, when deadlines are missed or are being assigned. Uh, at some point, if the deadlines are being missed too, too long, for too long, you could you know, use the built-in forum discussion uh, feature to to talk to that person more, or uh, you know start using some real time messaging or telephone methods to uh, discuss why this task is not being completed on time. So that summarizes how we use Sana. Thank you for listening.